and become the incredible activists they are now. As well as the model and author and the British Vogue contributing editor, can we all make some noise for the incredible, the legendary Munro Bergdorf, everybody! Happy Transpired, everyone. Can I get a fuck the Tories? No, 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 no. louder than that. Fuck the Tories! I feel so, so, so blessed to be here, to be in this time, even though as fucked up as everything is right now, I need to, sorry, I need to um, rewind. I'm gonna describe myself. Um, I'm Monroe Bergdorf. I'm a mixed race um, black trans woman. I'm wearing a black corseted midi dress. Thank you, corseted. With um, some leather boots, knee high. As fucked up as things are right now, in this time, we have never been as strong as a community. We have never been as cohesive, as organized. We've never been able to see each other as we see each other now. And when I began my transition 13 years ago, which is kind of wild, I could have been a mother to some of you. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I couldn't have imagined this time that we're in. It's just to look out and just see so many different kinds of queerness, so many different kinds of transness, so many intersex people speaking about the need to end intersex surgery, talking about the intersectional, intersectional nature of our liberation. We need to work together and it's just amazing to see so many of us working together to get to where we need to go. And today is about love and rage, as Lewis so amazingly put and we've got so much to be angry about but I think it's really important that we stand in the love as well and that we don't look at the darkness for long enough for it to blind us to remind, remember that we are the light we are the solution not just, not just for trans folk not just for us but for everybody trans rights frees everyone all that we're fighting for is bodily autonomy, the right to do with and what you want with your body, and that stands for everyone. So I just want to write, read a little thing that I've written. I haven't memorized it, bear with me. All right. So I wrote this for a project that I did with Anoni, who is an incredible artist, and if you don't know, her album came out yesterday. She's an incredible trans musician who is centering our stories in her work. And if you haven't heard the album, check it out. We are living through a particularly sinister moment in history where the rights and lives of trans beings are yet again being weaponized by media and government in a senseless culture war that benefits no one but the ruling class. The human rights, well-being, dignity, and bodily autonomy of transgender human beings have been disregarded in the pursuit of inducing a moral panic, devoid of empathy and understanding, fueled by anger and apathy. The object, object truth has been object sorry object truth has been replaced with abstract lies. Scientific guidance replaced with media sensationalism, and religious evangelicalism. Understanding the difference, understanding of difference replaced with irrational fear and knee-jerk opinions. Community replaced with a closed door. People's lives are being picked up and kicked around like a political football <laughs> with little to no regard for the consequence or the impact. Segregation from public spaces has yet again been put on the table for those who hold office, leading with fear and distraction rather than courage and solutions. The lives of real people are very much at stake and transphobia can no longer continue to be framed as a status quo. Things must change. But the thing with fascism is that if you wait for its boot to be on everyone's neck before you call it by its name, then you took too long to act. The freedom to express who we are, 
and the freedom to be who we are is for all of us to protect. Freedom includes us all. Power and control includes only some. Yesterday it may be them, today it may be us, but tomorrow it will be you. It's human freedom and justice that may be, must be fought for like all life depends on it, before, because it surely does. We have seen this play out before, yet too many have seemingly failed to take heed of the warning signs. Lest you find yourself 50 years time with young generation asking how on earth could you have let this happen? Because that is where we're headed if you don't act. That is what, why we must at all costs stand up to. That is what we must fight back against together. This crisis of apathy must change. And I want us to all understand all of the people that are here today, all of the allies, not just the trans folk who make up less than 1% of the population. Allies, we need you to be fighting with us now more than ever. We are less than 1% of the population. If you don't fight with us, then things are not gonna change. We need to stand hand in hand, arm in arm. We need to understand that change comes with pushback. And that's not just pushback from us pushing back against this Tory government, that is them pushing back against us before every single significant breakthrough in history, there is pushback. And that is what's happening now because we are on the precipice of a breakthrough. All of this today, all of this today, this is the change in real time. We're standing in a historic moment in time. Days like this, are what it's all about. So love each other, hold space for each other, allow each other to make mistakes. We're not gonna get this right. We're all underneath a lot of pressure. We're all dealing with it in the best way that we can. Allow each other grace, allow each other the freedom that you want for yourself and make sure that you're just being who you want to see in the change that we are bringing into this world. Thank you so, so much. Love and rage.